Well, hello guys, Spazzy W coming at you from my living room. It's just easier, okay? Anyways, guess what? Fallout 4 DLC got announced and it's fucking epic. I woke up to my Instagram getting wrecked with mentions and tags and people following me, all this fucking Fallout news, everybody's going fucking insane. Meanwhile, at my Twitter... I know I haven't made a video about Fallout news in a long time, but this is just way too juicy. Last week, Bethesda tweeted saying, We know you're ready to learn what's coming out for Fallout. We're not far off. We think you'll be excited. And that just kind of got the hop train loaded. Like, people were sitting on the hop train. They're talking to each other. They're drinking Nuka-Cola, talking about the lack of content. But they're not ready to leave yet. And then they tweeted... We're also doing a complete overhaul of the Fallout 4 survival mode, food, sleep, disease, danger, and more. Stay tuned. And if you want to see me and Mr. Matty plays uh, speculate about the new survival mode, we actually talked about it over on his podcast. I'll put a link for it in the description. But back to DLC. Bethesda dropped a bomb. No pun intended. The first piece of DLC is coming in March next month, and it will be $10 USD. We're getting robots. Well... We're getting more robots. I'll just read you the synopsis. The mysterious mechanist has unleashed a horde of evil robots into the commonwealth, including the devious Robobrain. Hunt them down and harvest their parts. Build and mod your own custom robot companion. Choose from hundreds of mods, mixing limbs, armor, abilities, and weapons like the all-new lightning chain gun. Even customize their paint schemes and choose their voices. Woo! That's a lot to take in. First of all, this isn't going to be a big DLC. At $10, it's just going to be adding some new missions to the Commonwealth. Instead of the usual route where Bethesda puts a whole new playable area, like on the side, like in Fallout 3. They put like Broken Steel over here, and then the pit up here. And then Mothership Zeta was right here. And then, like, the An Anchorage was right here. But that don't mean it won't be badass. I mean, you're gonna be a robot bounty hunter. You're gonna be making robots with fucking penis lasers. Okay, I might have took that a little too far, but you know what I'm saying. Second of all... The Mechanist? Fallout 4 takes place 10 years after Fallout 3. In Fallout 3, the Mechanist was a killable character. So this either means Bethesda's cool with bringing back killable characters, or... Somebody else has taken over as the Mechanist. My money's on Brian Wilk. Remember that little kid? His parents got fucked up by the ants? Yeah, I think it's him. The next piece of DLC is the Wasteland Workshop. At $4.99 USD, this edition comes in April, and it looks very small. It's more of a treat for those of us who like to build settlements, but with just a little bitty twist. Um, they're adding pet fucking Deathclaw battles. With the Wasteland Workshop, design and set cages to capture live creatures from raiders to Deathclaws. Tame them or have them face off in battle even against your fellow settlers. The Wasteland Workshop also includes a suite of new design options for your settlement like Nixie tube lighting, letter kits, taxidermy, and more. Now let's go back to the face off in battle even against your fellow settlers. Oh, what's that, Mama Murphy? You're talking shit? Looks like you'll be fighting four death claws tonight, yo bitch. Hope you got enough kims to fucking reassemble your whole entire fucking body. The big DLC is gonna be called Far Harbor, and it will be coming to us in May for $24.99 USD. So a little bit after Fallout 4 came out, people started finding awesome shit underwater. Somebody actually looked into the game's code and found a harpoon gun. And ever since then, water-based DLC has been guessed. The synopsis is a bit longer, but for the full effect, I'm going to read you the whole thing. A new case for Valentine's Detective Agency leads you on a search for a young woman in a secret colony of scents. Travel off the coast of Maine to the mysterious island of Far Harbor, where higher levels of radiation have created a more feral world. Navigate through the growing conflict between the scents, children of Adam, and local townspeople. Will you work towards bringing you peace to Far Harbor? And at what cost? Far Harbor features the largest landmass for an add-on that we've ever created filled with new factions, quests, settlements, lethal creatures, and dungeons. Become more powerful with the new higher level armor and weapons. The choices are all yours. I knew there was going to be something with the Children of Adam. They have all these named NPCs for no fucking reason. I mean, that usually means that something's going to happen with them eventually. Bethesda goes on to say that this is only the beginning. We have plans for more, more than $60 of new Fallout adventures and features throughout 2016. But if you don't buy the season pass before March, March 1st, it's going up from $29.99 USD to $49.99 USD, so you better hop on it, including myself. I didn't buy it when it was announced because I really like to know what I'm buying. I mean, I pre-ordered Fallout 4, but, I mean, I wasn't gonna not fucking buy Fallout 4. I mean, if the DLC was shitty, I wasn't gonna buy it. 
But this looks pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm really excited just to get back in a boat, you know. I haven't been in a boat since fucking Point Lookout. I will definitely be buying the season pass before March 1st. Then I have to start preparing my body for the next few months. Because I'm going to be all up in that Xbox and PlayStation's asses. Both of them. I'll be playing both of them. Fucking one controller in each hand. And fucking... I don't know. Okay, it's not what that looks like. Guys, I know I'm not a great talker, and I'm definitely not that great at video game news stories. I appreciate you guys tuning in and listening to me ramble about Fallout 4 for a few minutes. In the comment section below, let me know if you'll be getting the season pass, or if you're just going to buy them one at a time, or if you're even going to buy them. Are you tired of Fallout? Are you skipping out on this one? Just let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, spaz out! <coughs> ah!